What's up guys? Long time no see. We're here to talk about Tommy Talk. All on the internet. All I've been hearing is Tommy Talk. Tommy Talk. Tommy Talk. Everybody wants me to talk and review and take a look at these Tommy Talk bags. And why is that? It's because this bag specifically, the T26, looks a little like, a lot like, the Green Room 136 Metro Runner and they do have a lot of similar features. We are gonna open this thing up right now and do some size comparisons. I think that that's appropriate for a sling bag video, don't you? Let's get in here. All right, I got a couple of them, right? Here's one right here. This is the C Tactical 4W, again, the name. This is a four liter sling. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the um, Snack Time sling. Lot very much similar. This has X-Pack fabric. The T26 has X-Pack fabric as well. Actually, you know, you can see that this is definitely smaller. Definitely smaller, right? This is 5.5 liters. The T26 is 5.5, while this is four. Yeah, I'm trying to line it up in the video so you guys can get a good look. Definitely smaller. We'll get that one out of here. How about this one over here? This is from Green Room 136. This is the Metro Drifter. This is like a small little like uh, messenger style bag. A little bigger than the um, C Tactical 4W. This one's actually five liters. A little bigger, but I like this one. This one's made out of Cordura fabric. Yeah, it's got the knapsack style or um, messenger style. You gotta kind of like the messenger style for, for your use. Here's one that actually I've been using for, you know, for the last couple of weeks. Let me try to get it all in the frame. This one's a lot bigger. This is the VanQuest Mobius. Super sick, super rugged. Kind of an old school type of sling bag right here. This thing will take up the whole frame. Twice the size of the Tommy Talk, um, Tom Talk 26 right here. This one's 11 liters. 11 liters, but it does it fits all of my stuff. I love this thing on the go, but I wanted to show you that one Here's another one. All right. This one's about 4.5 liters. This is the VanQuest Dendrite right here. This is made out of the urban um, PU uh, coated uh, 400D. Yeah, this one is awesome as well So this one is kind of re resembles like the snack time sling as well Definitely, this is like a sausage style. This is kind of more like the bum style bag. But yeah, definitely two slings that are awesome. And finally, the one over here, the one I've been, you know, on my off days I rock a lot, is the Green Room 136 Metro Monger. So this one is actually nine liters. Nine liters, 5.5 liters. That's kind of how that goes. This one, I have all day EDC carry and with no actual problems. You can kind of see the size comparison right there. A lot bigger on the top, but yeah. The Metro Monger I, is probably one of my favorite slings, to be totally honest with you guys. But we're here to talk about this Tommy Talk T6. Did I mention they need to work on the name? <laughs> Did I mention they need to work on the name? Let's go through some of the good. Let's go through some of the bad. We'll do both. You know, and on this um, sling bag right here, I'm gonna start with my positives. We're gonna talk about like use case scenario, like why why would you be picking this sling up? All right, 5.5 liters, I already mentioned that. Now, this is kind of a tech sling, right? It's meant to take like your iPad mini right here. Let me try to prove it to you guys. iPad mini right there. Yeah, I'm doing this early in the morning. So, or, you know, a little gaming device right here, Amber Nick can't remember the name, little gaming device. Or if you wanna go with a larger gaming device, those guys that have got this Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, those type of devices will fit in here as well. This, this is kind of purpose built to carry your tech and your everyday carry items, which I like. And I have a lot of slings that do that. So why is this one any different? Let's talk about the X-Pack material on the outside. I actually like it a lot. It's a really good feeling. It gives it a more modern look. Definitely nice, subtle branding on the front. That's tight as well. And I like the fact that they mixed the X-Pack on the front and on the top 
with some ballistic nylon on the bottom. This is something that I don't usually see in slings. So the, the understanding that they needed a heavier weight material when you set the bag down and it does kind of stand up on its own. So that's really nice. I like that a lot that they went with the um, ballistic nylon on the bottom and on the back of the sling bag right here. So that's definitely a positive. All right, so one of the things for me for these larger slings, start once we start getting over four liters, I like a pad on the shoulder strap. And Tommy Talk delivered with a nice pad. It's super long and wide. So definitely a uh, very comfortable throughout the day. I love the fact that they do subtle branding on the shoulder strap right here. Nice hypalon. You got some places right here where you can like loop in maybe a carabiner or anything else, some accessories that you want to clip in. And then you might be noticing these little buckles on the side. These buckles move with you and they also are your disconnect on the sling bag right here. So you don't have the disconnect right here in the middle. They pushed it off to the side, making it very convenient for you to use. Now let's talk about the pockets. This is kind of like, I'm mentioning this as a positive, but I do have some things, some, some things that they can improve on the pockets. So we'll open up this front section right here. And I like the fact that they give you two larger pockets right here in the front. What I put in there, is like the stuff I wanna to get to really quickly, right? Power bank, anchor power bank right here. I like this one because you can actually um, plug it into a wall and it comes with the cord already attached. Definitely liked it a lot. And that's a 10,000 milliamp power bank. I'm trying something new. Usually I would have my night cord like NU 10,000 with me, but I found that I, cause I usually carry the plug too. So I was like, get, get the power bank in the plug in one, Anchors delivers. I got my rolling square charging cord if I gotta charge something odd, like a, you know, odd meaning iPhone or something like that. And then over here, I have the uh, Spyderco Chaparral, Sun and the Moon. They stopped making this, I don't know why. It's like a mid-lock. I don't fidget with my knives, but I use them as what people should probably use them as. I don't wanna talk like old man talk. Use it as a tool, son. Anyway, so Olight O-Clip, this is excellent, especially for like when I'm hooking up my boat trailer, I can just clip this on my t-shirt, clip it on a hat, whatever, do what I need to do. It's super light and it's USB-C. Thank you, Olight, USB-C rechargeable instead of that funky cord that you gotta go around with. Mini Sharpie. Mini G2 Pilot Pen. These pockets right here in the front, there's two of them, super large. And there also is a key clip in there, which I don't have anything on right now because one of the problems with this pocket, let's go ahead and talk about it. There's not that much dimension in the front of this pocket. So there's not, I mean, there's these spaces in the front where it looks like it expands, but it really doesn't do anything. <laughs> there is no expansion. Like there's like a gusset here and here, but that gusset doesn't really give you any gusseting. So, you know, it doesn't give you an extra space. So that's one of the downsides. But I do like the key clip, it's metal and it's pretty much longer. You can see that high visibility interior again, Green Room 136, you know, they got that yellow interior. Now, what I will say compared to like a prime edition Green Room 136 Metro Runner, this material is lighter in the inside. Um, definitely lighter, which can be a good thing on a sling because you don't want like really heavyweight materials on a pack. So the pockets in the front are good. I like them. And so let's go to the top of this, this sling right here. And before we get to the top, I got to give them, you know, a round of applause. Yes, I love a grab handle. Give me a grab handle on a larger sling. 5.5 liters. I need a grab handle on it. So Companies take notice. You got an AquaGuard YKK zip. Only thing, only little complaint I might have about this AquaGuard YKK zip is the fact that it's a little smaller, but it gets the job done. That's nitpicky type of stuff, right? That's nitpicky. Oh, give me a number 10. It doesn't need to be a number 10 all the time. So this one functions well and it's gonna keep the water out. You can see I got this thing loaded to the gills, right? Loaded to the gills. So I gotta kind of take some stuff out of my regular EDC stuff that I carry so I can put this um, this iPad mini in. So let's, let's try to get it fitted in. My pen wants to run away. Anyway, back here in the back, you have a little, I'm starting back here in the back. You have a little 
pocket back here and it has some elastic on the side so it has some expandability in the pocket itself where i just stuck in some mechanics gloves that's because you know if something happens emergency happens i need to work on my truck or something like that i gotta hook up a boat trailer that's you know sometimes those connections get fussy you want to put some gloves on you don't want to tear your hands up all right i got some sunglasses in there and a little leather pouch i have a green room 136 um two and a ten we'll throw that off to the side i have the leatherman arc which is excellent expensive as hell but it's excellent and i use it more than i thought i would right leatherman arc is i know it's probably one of the best leathermans that they have made i just wish it was a little cheaper it's just, it's got a great tool set on it. It's a great little tool. Um, clip on it. I love the fact it comes with a little bit kit, even though the bit kit doesn't include the, the bit you need to take this Leatherman apart. Um, I got a little flashlight, Lumatop EDC tool, triple A on the side, and then I have the bit extension. We'll throw that off to the side. And so you can get a better look at the pocketing now. So you got some elastic pocketing over here, which is excellent. And I just put in like, you know, chapstick, Advil, hand sanitizer, that kind of stuff on there. And then on the other side, I got my dude wipes on there because my nose, my son's nose, not my nose, my son's nose is always running. Got some Nivea hand cream. Just because I'm a man doesn't mean I can't keep my hands moisturized. Guys, come on now. So inside you see you got a lot of space right here in the middle. Now let's try that iPad mini in there. It fits in there very well, right? When I take all of my stuff out, it fits in there very well. It's just because I have a little bit too much stuff for my, my EDC. So let's flip around. The mesh in here is decent, right? I didn't want to move on without talking about this mesh. It's decent, right? It's not the greatest mesh I've ever felt in my life, but it definitely will get the job done. On this side of the sling, you got a large pocket. The zipper goes from here all the way down here. So you unzip and you can see what I have. I got my boo-boo kit just in a plastic bag because I want to keep my little band-aids and all that stuff dry. And then I have a microfiber cloth stuffed in this little silicone case thing, which is excellent. I have, I know everybody's up on the, the, the handkerchiefs, but I don't think, a, I think a microfiber cloth beats out a handkerchief every time for wiping stuff off or wiping your nose, whatever you got to do. Uh, yeah, so microfiber cloth for me for EDC. And then if you put larger items, you can see it kind of bulks out this pocket, kind of bolts out into the middle section here. But the pocketing on this thing is actually pretty good. I like the way it's set up. We're not gonna put all that junk in back in there. We're gonna keep it moving on the review, right? So one, two pockets, three pockets, this pocket in the back. I was kind of saving this pocket for, for my negatives, Let's go ahead and talk about it. This pocket in the back is super slim. Again, dimension, dimension, dimension. Tommy, Tom Talk, dimension. You gotta give me some dimension in these, these pockets. So right here, this is about as much as you're gonna fit in that pocket. You know, just like a little, you know, um, field book, field notes in there. And cause this pocket is super slim, man. Maybe a passport, some, some, paper money that's kind of where it, it's going to be and you know this pocket is right up against your back you so you're that's kind of think what they designed it for is so it can be against your body but that's about the size of those pockets yeah so let's talk about the negatives on this sling right here the size the size the size right um this first pocket right here I got many pins in here, right? Many G2 Pilot pin and many um, Sharpie because a full size pin like this Sharpie pin, this is a full size clicky clicky pin, will like it's gonna be up above, it's gonna be up above the, uh, the rain cover right here and it doesn't really wanna fit that well. It can fall down in there. The pocket in there is a little short so it's not gonna grab like the clip it's gonna fall down in there. You can stick it in there. But, you know, I like my stuff standing up. Yeah, I'm kind of bougie that way. But yeah, the size, 
Yeah, I wish there was just a little bit more dimension in this front pocket. That's just me. I could deal with just a little bit more depth in the main section as well. Maybe half an inch. May take this thing up to six liters. It's like overall what I've noticed. I don't have the Metro Runner with me right now, but I did compare them before I lent, lent my Metro Runner out to a buddy. This one is a little smaller than the, re the regular Green Room 136 Metro Runner. So just keep that in mind. It is... Yeah, it's a little smaller. I think the Metro Runner advertises itself at six liters. This one at 5.5, and this is truly 5.5, a little smaller than the Metro Runner. Zipper covers, zipper covers in the front. Let me like, let me zoom down a little bit, right? Zipper covers in the front. I don't think these are necessary, man. This one right here, like, it just makes the operation and grabbing the zipper are just a little bit difficult. I know you get a little bit more weather resistance here in the front, but let me show you this back pocket too about the weather resistance. You know, we got zipper covers in the front. We got an aqua car zip. This zipper back here is just a regular zipper and it's got a lip to it. So I didn't get caught in the rain while I was testing out this bag, but this is a perfect place for water to settle if you had this bag on. So your money, if you put your cell phone back there and you are in a heavy downpour, I could see water just building up and seeping in right there. So a zipper cover may be back here or AquaGuard zip, but just especially for the front pocket where you're going to be in and out a lot, this zipper cover, I don't want it. I just want to cut it off, but you can't really cut it off. Um, it does. The operation of the zipper works. It's, it's, it's just I don't like it. I don't like it. You always got to kind of fix, fix it. It's just in my way. Just... I don't need that. Just take it off, right? Tom, Tom Talk, take that thing off. All right, compression straps on the side. Absolutely useless. Like, and there's just a lot of strap on the side right here, right? So, all right, I got all this strap, and then I pull it, and I get a little bit of compression, maybe an inch. And it really just pulls it on the corners. It doesn't do anything for the middle of the bag. I, I think you could just cut those off. I think cut our losses far as the compression straps on the side, eh, they don't, they're not that, that really that great. Um, these buckles on the shoulder strap, they're cool as hell. Sometimes they squeak. You know, if you're moving with this bag, you'll hear a little quick, 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 quick. It's these buckles, which is not the main complaint. The main complaint for me on these buckles, because these buckles are the same ones that VanQuest used on their new Teco. And it's just something new that's come out. I don't, I don't know who's the, who's the producer of these. Duraflex. All right, Duraflex is making these. So a lot of companies are using these now, which is cool. They actually work really well. They move with you. And the squeak is I can deal with. I, I the thing that I'm suggesting Tommy Tom Talk do is make this buckle disappear. Like if you want to disconnect this, like the, this is the point of these, right? You can disconnect these this buckle, leave your shoulder strap somewhere, and just use this as a dedicated. Just use this as a dedicated uh, tech pouch, but um, the, the buckles need to disappear. Like make the buckle like a, a place for the buckle to go to kind of tuck in and disappear for you, but not on this one, right? Not on this one. This <laughs> So you, you'll continually have these buckles kind of in your way if you want to use it just as like a, a, a tech pouch. So that's, that's one thing. It's minor, minor, minor in complaint, but definitely think about that right now we get to the price i think that this thing is comfortable it's a decent value at 90 bucks i do have questions about what kind of x-pack this is it's like it's not listed i don't know if it's a vx21 or a vx42 or something something other than that but overall it's a really good fa uh, fabric and for 90 bucks i even see them on sale for less than 90 on Amazon right now, it's like 80 bucks. I think this is a buy. You know, I think it's a buy. It did enough for me where carrying my stuff, it held up well, it was very comfortable. For 90 bucks, I don't really think you can ask a uh, sling. It looks really good. You got X-Pack material. You got some high, you know, high vis interior. You got good pocketing, not great pocketing, but good pocketing. You could carry your tablet. You could carry, carry your tablet. You could carry your Steam Deck. You could carry your little gaming device. I mean, I don't know what else you would want for um, like 80 bucks and you also get X-Pack. They actually have one that's just ballistic nylon. It's less than that, it's like 60 bucks, which I think is 
is a great value. It's just a, if, a, if you're like kind of like a bag nerd and you want some X-Pack material, you pay the extra, you know, 10 bucks and get the X-Pack or get the Ballistic 9 one. That one's good as well. So, Tom Top, this is excellent. Um, do I like it more than the, the, the Green Room 136 Metro Runner? Uh, I'm not sure. The verdict is out. I think that this offers more value than the, the Green Room 136 metro runner because it's a cheaper price by a couple of bucks especially the prime edition i think the prime edition is like one something 150 or something while you can get this from like 70 bucks on amazon so yeah it's almost half the price so i gotta say for value yeah tom sock you won that one for value so yeah guys if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you loved it subscribe and come on back because i got more gear all the damn time <laughs> If you got questions, leave them, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Man. Peace.